Welcome to Ajadi Math Class. Hello viewers, welcome to Ajadi Math Class. Today we shall continue with our episode on statistics for beginners and we are working on the correlation coefficient. When we talk about the word correlation, this is a relationship between two variables and the data can be represented by the other pair x and y where we say that our x is the independent or explanatory variable and y is the dependent variable. That is, let's take for instance that my x is the student grade, okay? And y is the number of hours spent by students reading for an examination. So we want to see if there's a relationship between the hours spent by the student and the final grade of the student. This is just one of the application of correlation. Is there any correlation between it? Does the number of hours spent have impact on the grade so that is one of the um application of correlation now let's take for instance here my x is my um hour and y is the grade my x is the hour and y is the what is the grade and that's what i mean to say in the previous um this thing so now looking at this we can see that this is a negative linear correlation a form of a negative linear correlation shows a decline okay it shows us as s increases as s increases y do what y decreases that means there's a negative correlation and that means as the student increases the number of hours spent reading the grade do what reduces so that's one of the um mean uh, one of the application of what negative correlation it shows that when x increases then your x tends to what to decrease so that is when you see that there's a negative correlation between two variables and um, for a scatter plot for a positive linear correlation for a positive linear correlation this shows that as s increases y also increase so looking at this this shows an increment okay this goes up an appreciation so that means as a student increases the hour the hour rate is being increased that means the what the grade will also do what will also increase so that is one of the um application of positive correlation that means as s increases y increases and for something to have a positive impact it means it helps or it has um, um a high impact on the other variable okay so just like um your expenditure too if your salary increases your income increases you know you want to spend more or for the family or for yourself so that is one of the effects of positive correlation and thirdly we have no correlation in this regard for no correlation we see that um looking at this the sample or the observations are scattered okay this is called a scatter plot everything is scattered there's no uniform way either increasing or decreasing it's more or less like a random uh a random um, of a motion uh, in physics so that's one uh, of the application of no correlation that means they don't have anything in common at all and um, for our correlation coefficient this is the formula given to us r represents our what is the um correlation coefficient n is the number of observation or number of pairs of data we have our variable x and our variable y so when you are asked that what's the definition of correlation is a measure of the strength and the direction of a linear relationship between two variables now let's look at um mathematical explanation of correlation for the first part when we have a perfect negative correlation this is when you have it to be negative one okay it shows that as x increases your y do what your y decreases perfectly perfectly in most cases we don't usually have it to be negative one but be, it can be very close to negative one so any value from negative one to negative 0 0.5 is called the what the strong negative correlation okay that means it has a negative impact on each other the variables of interest has negative impacts okay very strong one but if your correlation is from 0 0.5 to 0 
that means you have weak negative correlation if the value gotten is from negative 0 0.5 to 0 to close to 0 not to 0 close to 0 it means it is weak negative correlation and if your correlation is 0 we say no correlation just like the random um, variable I showed you in our um, third illustration so any value if value of your R is from 0 to 0 0.5 your analysis we say that okay we have weak positive correlation because we are having positive value and from 0 0.5 close to 1 we say we have strong positive correlation and lastly if r is 1 we say that we have what perfect positive correlation now example now looking at this a marketing department wishes to determine whether there is a relationship between the number of television commercials heard per week and the number of sales in thousand pesos of a product so the data for the sample follow so we have the number of ads which is our x and the sales which is y so we want to compute the correlation coefficient and the value and the formula is given as shown above here so there's a need for us to complete this table don't forget this is our x from the question and this is my y from the question so there's a need for me to compute each of these values given to us here okay now the first thing we have to compute is the addition of my x so which is called summation x adding these together is going to give me 37 and for my y adding y's together that is called a summation y and that is going to give us 31 so s square means we are squaring each value of x so 2 square is going to give us 4 5 square 25 8 square 64 100 and 144 so adding this together that is the summation x square which is going to be 3 3 7 the same thing for y square which is 2 square 4 4 square which is this i'm squaring each of these observations so 4 square which is 16 6 square 36 81 100 so summing this together is going to give us 237 and the last part is x y that means i'm multiplying x with y x with y so that's going to be 2 times 2 4 5 times 4 20 8 times 6 48 90 and 120 so summing these together i am going to have 282 now using this formula don't forget n is the number of observation we have our n to be 5 summation x y which is 282 minus summation x which is 37 summation y which is 31 over square root n which is 5 3 3 7 which is summation x squared minus summation x r squared which is 37 squared n which is 5 the same thing for y which is 237 minus 31 r square so solving this my r is going to give me 1410 minus 1147 over the square root of 1685 minus 1369 square root 1185 minus 961 
So the value for my R is going to be 263 over square root 316 square root 224. So approximately my R is going to be 0 0.99. Now looking at this with our previous um we can see that from here we can say our 0 0.99 will be very close to this. That means there's strong what strong positive correlation, even nearly perfect correlation. Okay, strong positive correlation between the number of ads and the what and the sales. That means the ad is doing well for the sales. The ad is doing what well for the sales. That is what it means. So from here, we are going to stop here. And in our next class, we are moving straight to regression. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, and comment. Thank you very much. See you next video.